What is this? It's a sight many beachgoers have never seen. It's a Pokemon. Oh. It's actually known as a blue dragon, and you should not catch them all. Though the bright blue and silver sea slugs may look like fun. This is what they look like. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. If you were to see one of these on the beach, what would you do? I've tried to pick it up. I would have touched it. It is cool looking, yeah. but I yeah. have heard that they're really dangerous. She's right. As spring breakers flock to beaches, researchers are warning that wherever there's warm water, these tiny creatures are likely around and they can pack a very mean sting. It would be a three to five times what a man of war sting would be. Jace Tunnel is a marine biologist who has spent years combing the beaches in Texas. And this is what the blue dragon feeds on. Right, exactly. Blue dragons feed on toxins from the Portuguese man o' war and other jellyfish like organisms. Toxins that the blue dragon will release if threatened or agitated. You will know immediately if you are stung by a blue dragon. It will be intense pain. It will feel like uh, somebody has needles that they're scraping across um, your skin. Bad reactions can cause vomiting and disorientation, prompting a trip to the ER. If you're stung, experts say do pour vinegar or warm water on the site, but don't get in the ocean or rub it with sand. And those blue dragons don't have to ruin your day at the beach either if you follow one simple rule. Leave it alone. Uh, they should take photos of it, but do not touch it. And that's, of course, something to keep in mind if you're bringing young kids to the beach. Experts say to just chat with them before you get to the beach and let them know to talk with an adult before they touch anything that looks unfamiliar. Also keep an eye out for your pets. But, of course, feel free to admire them, take pictures, take videos. Just resist the urge to touch them. Look, don't oh. touch. All right, like Priscilla. Do you have an urge you. to touch that thing? Yes. I don't have an urge yeah, to run. It is, oh, it I would is, grab yeah. it immediately. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, this is spring break. Now, when most people think about spring break, they think of Florida. Well, as popular as Florida is, Texas is also a hot spot for spring break as well. Well, this year, these things that you're looking at are called blue dragons and they are washing up on the beaches in Texas. And what they actually are, are sea slugs, but they're dangerous. People that touch these things ultimately end up at the emergency room. So they're usually a bright blue and silver color and people think they look fun and they want one or they want to pick one up. So Texas spring breakers flock to beaches and this month they could stumble upon something they may have never seen. A bright blue and silver sea slug known as a blue dragon. They said they're usually about an inch long and researchers are warning against touching them because touching them can result in a painful sting. There's all kinds of stories of people accidentally stepping on them or picking one up or squeezing them and um, or trying to get one of these because they think they look cool. And yes, it usually does not end well. This is according to a marine biologist at Texas A&M University in Corpus Christi. Blue dragons are known to sail on the uh, ocean surface and feed on toxins from things like jellyfish and man o' war. As the southeast winds increase during the spring, the slugs will blow ashore with the potential to release dangerous toxins upon unsuspecting beachgoers. And they said it would be three to five times of what a man-o-war sting would be. 
and they said they started spotting these for the first time on the beaches in Texas about a month ago. So they seen the first one for the season and it was on North Padre Island last month. The pain can last up to three hours if you happen to touch one. You will know immediately if you were stung by a blue dragon. It will be intense pain. It will feel like someone has needles that are scraping against your skin. Blue dragons live in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans, but their habitat is expanding according to American Oceans, an advocacy group that aims to educate the public about marine species. Such as examples are on the east and south coast of Africa, in Europe waters, in Mozambique, and off Australia's east coast. No definitive climate change connection has been made, but scientists says it's likely a factor. With warming temperatures, we could expect the blue dragon range to expand over time. One reason we may be hearing about blue dragons more now is increased awareness. I think we are just noticing them more. So blue dragons can sting in the water if they feel threatened or agitated, and even after they come ashore and die. Many people don't know that, and their first instinct is often to touch, as seen, you know, they said there are videos all over social media of people touching these things. So, <clears throat> They said, especially people that are not from Texas, and they said even people in Texas are not really familiar with these things, you know. And, and they said they are seeing more photos of these blue dragons also popping up on social media. And they describe them as a venomous slug. Others like Corpus Christi native Hannah, Hannah Stobeck, no better. It is cool looking, but I've heard they're really dangerous. A bad reaction to a sting can cause vomiting and disorientation, prompting a trip to the emergency room. You don't know how your body is going to react to the venom, and that is the key. Everybody reacts differently. Now, I know they're especially warning people that have children because you know how children are. They tend to get curious and want to pick it up. <clears throat> so as the video stated, if you come across one and you get stung, pour vinegar or warm water on the site. But don't get in the ocean. They said you don't want to get any salt on it and you don't want to rub it with sand. Parents heading to the beach with small children should be extra cautious if there are blue dots peppering the shoreline. Chat with your child about not touching anything without asking an adult first. Take a picture and they said um, make a little video of it you know, especially if you happen to get stung. That way, when you get to the hospital, they know exactly, you know, what you were stung by and will know how to treat you. Uh-uh-uh. Well, I sure don't want to touch one for the simple fact that if I never seen it before and I don't know if it's poisonous or not, I would tend not to touch it, but that's me. But there are a lot of people, including you heard the host on NBC. Um, he said he would touch it. Mm -mm. You know, some things 
on this earth, you're better off not touching. And this is turning out to be one of those things. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this video and tell me whether you have seen these or not. From what I understand, you know, they periodically, especially when temperatures are warm, you can see them all across the shoreline here in America. But I guess, you know, being that I have never heard about these things, I never knew to look for it. And I certainly, we used to go to the beach a lot when I was growing up as a child. And, but I mean, we've seen the jellyfish. I've seen a man of war, but never a blue dragon. So y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.